It has been over 20 years since Mr. Bill last performed on Saturday Night Live. His beloved sketches on SNL featured him and his dog Spot, wherein both of them would suffer various indignities inflicted by the evil Mr. Hands. I recently discovered that Mr. Bill aspires to quit slapstick comedy and become a serious film actor. I traveled to the remote wilderness where Mr. Bill currently resides in a cardboard box. It is a pleasure to finally meet you, Mr. William. Oh, please call me Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill, would you please give me a tour of your humble abode? Oh, absolutely. It's kind of dark in there. Hope you brought a flashlight. Well, this is where I live. What are these pictures on your wall? Oh, those are just some photographs I collected throughout the years. You see, the great thing Basically, after years of being impaled, thrown, and stepped on, Mr. Bill has found comfort in these images of harmless animals and objects. And this here is where I sleep in this very cozy slipper. And what is this over here? Oh, that used to be my dog Spot's water dish. He was my best friend. Where is he? What happened to him? Well, he, um... Uh... It's um, okay. You do not have to talk about it. I later found out that Spot was brutally mauled by grizzly bears while him and Mr. Bill were camping. He was torn to tiny clay pieces by the time the emergency medical team arrived. Here are some of the autographs I've collected throughout the years met almost everyone in the business. Wallace and Gromit, Gumby, the California Raisins. As I looked at these autographs, I wondered, what are Mr. Bill's dreams? Does he dream about a clay world made of clay people just like him? And in his dreams, is he a famous film actor that all the other clay stars look up to? Mr. Bill, I have someone here to see you. Oh my goodness, Mr. Hands? Yes, Mr. Bill, it is me. I apologize for all the suffering I caused you and I have something to give to you. It is a photograph of your old dog, Spot. Oh, thank you, Mr. Hands. You are welcome, Mr. Bill. While at the summit of Bishop's Peak with Mr. Bill, a butterfly landed near me while I had my camera on. I immediately tried to capture some footage of this timid butterfly. It flew away a couple of times, but I was finally able to get a close-up of its face. I wondered, what does the butterfly see? Could a butterfly even begin to comprehend the technology of my camera which was recording its image and movements? Likewise, if an extraterrestrial species were to arrive with technology beyond our comprehension, what would we see? Would we even notice their existence? <laughs>